from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. An update about COVID-19 vaccinations in Henrico. County police arrest a man in connection with two suspicious incidents in October and how you can help Henrico County schools. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, a new way for Metro Richmond residents to be vaccinated against COVID-19 is arriving this week. Though, like the existing method, it will be able to serve only a fraction of the people who actually want to be inoculated. Registration for vaccination spots at 36 CVS stores statewide, including at least one in Henrico, is tentatively scheduled to open on Thursday. Originally, it was scheduled to open today. Vaccinations at the participating stores are expected to begin as soon as Friday, though the company doesn't plan to have more than 1,000 doses per store on average. The citizen learned that the CVS location at 5001 West Broad Street is expected to be the only county location offering the vaccine. Walk-in appointments will not be accepted. You'll have to register online at cvs.com or by calling 800-746-7287 or also by using the CVS Pharmacy app. There's still a little uncertainty about who will be able to be vaccinated at CVS and the process that will be in place. Last week, state vaccination coordinator Danny Avula, who's also Henrico's health director, indicated that he and other state officials wanted CVS to use names that already exist in the state's list of people who have completed interest forms signifying that they want to be vaccinated. But as of late yesterday morning, the health district was uncertain about whether that was going to happen or not. Richmond and Henrico Health District's nurse manager Amy Popovich said yesterday that there are about 117,000 people from Henrico and Richmond who are currently eligible to be vaccinated who have expressed a desire to be vaccinated. Those include people in 1A and the first part of Phase 1B. Now there has not yet been a chance for people 16 to 64 who have pre-existing conditions to indicate their desire to be vaccinated, but that's coming next Monday according to Popovich. If you're among that group, you'll be able to submit your interest form at vax.rchd.com. Popovich said it'll be sometime in March before that segment of the population begins to receive vaccine doses in a best case scenario. All told, between Richmond and Henrico, there are about 560,000 people. And Popovich said that about half of them qualify for Phase 1A or Phase 1B of vaccinations. As we reported on Friday night online and here yesterday, more than 39% of the people who have been vaccinated in Henrico have not indicated their race or ethnicity. That's making it difficult for health district officials to understand clearly who has been vaccinated and who hasn't. Of those whose race is known, less than 13% were black or Latino. The health district officials want to get a clearer picture of who has received the vaccine, so they have established larger call banks of volunteers who are contacting people to register them for first or second doses, and in the process, they're urging people to provide that racial or ethnic data if they haven't done so already. You can read a whole lot more about this topic on HenricoCitizen.com. Click on COVID-19. Yesterday, Henrico County reported its lowest single-day count of new COVID-19 cases since December 3rd. Just 81 new cases were reported. That was a drop from 140 the day before. Henrico is still averaging 143 new daily cases. Its numbers have bounced around a bit from Thursday, ranging from 81 yesterday to a high of 233 in that same time frame. There also have been six new virus-related hospitalizations and one new death related to the virus in Henrico since Saturday. To date, almost 46,000 doses of COVID vaccine have been administered in Henrico, according to the Virginia Department of Health, and more than 8,200 Henricoans are now fully vaccinated. The county continues to rank third statewide in the most doses administered. 
A 24-year-old Amelia man is in Henrico County Jail charged with sexual battery in connection with two incidents from October. Zachary Ryan Martin is being held without bond at the Henrico Jail. He was identified as a suspect in the cases, which both occurred October 27th. Police haven't said what actions Martin is alleged to have committed, only describing him as having acted suspiciously with two women in two separate grocery stores that night. One at about 540 in the 9,000 block of West Broad and another about 45 minutes later in the 11,000 block of Patterson Avenue. Video footage showed a man following a woman into an aisle then immediately exiting the store after what police termed a brief encounter. Virginia Community Capital's new Open for Business Loan Fund is now accepting funding applications from minority and women-owned small businesses in the Richmond region. The fund is supported by a $1.5 million grant from Wells Fargo. It offers low-interest loans for eligible borrowers and offers technical assistance and consulting for eligible small businesses and also community-based partners in the region. A total of $1 million in loan capital priced at 3% is designated for loans generally sized between $50,000 and $250,000, according to VCC. You can learn more on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking on Business. Well, here's something easy for you to do when you have a few free minutes online. Henrico's nine high schools are seeking your help so that they can broadcast their fall sporting events, which will be played in the spring, through live streams on YouTube. In order to live stream events on the platform, though, a page must have at least a thousand subscribers. Live streaming would begin for some games as soon as February 22nd. You can subscribe by going to the YouTube channel for each of the nine high schools. We've got them all listed on HenricoCitizen.com if you click on News and Education and then look for this article. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County's COVID-19 Municipal Utility Relief Program. It provides assistance for delinquent bills with consumption from March 1st of last year through December 30th of this year. To learn more, visit henrico.us.